Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of division and reciprocal multiplication. This is standard 6.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, the simple expression, 6 divided by 2 fifths. So we need to find something that is equivalent to that, and we need this word right here, reciprocal. Uh, so what is a reciprocal? Well, the reciprocal is a number that we can multiply by another number to make it equal to 1. So let's take the number 10, right? Uh, how can I multiply something by this number in order to make it equal 1? Well, let's see. If I were to multiply by any whole number, it's going to get bigger. I need it to get smaller. So if I multiply it by a fraction, look what happens if I multiply it by 1 over 10, right? Well, in order to, to do that, we need to multiply straight across. Let's make 10 into a fraction. So 10 over 1, any whole number can be turned into a fraction. If you put it over 1, look what happens. If I were to do this multiplication, multiply straight across, 10 over 10, that equals 1. Another way that I can get that 10 down 1 is just divide. Divide it by itself. We know that dividing a number by itself equals 1. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. So you notice I've got two ways to do that. Multiplying by 1 over 10 or dividing by 10. And you notice that if I were to take that 10 and turn it into a fraction, guess what I'd get? I'd get this 10 over 1. So dividing by 10 over 1 and multiplying by 1 over 10 both get me the same thing. And this is what a reciprocal is. So when we are dividing by a number or a fraction. You see how I divided by 10 or by 10 over 1? Remember, any whole number can be turned into a fraction just by making it over 1. If I multiplied by its reciprocal, that means I flipped it, the inverse, I just flipped the numerator and the denominator, well, then that's going to work, right? That's going to be the exact same thing. And so it's a little bit easier to visualize when you've got just whole numbers like 10 and 1 over 10. But the same thing works when you also have uh, regular fractions like 2 fifths, right? So if we wanted to divide 6 into 2 fifths, right, what we would need to do is we would need to, you know, take 6 holes right here, right? Uh, let's take six holes, and we're going to divide it into two fifths. So I'm just going to cut each of these into fifths, and we're going to see how many two fifths we can take. And I'll show you how to do it by the uh, reciprocal is going to be a lot faster, right? So I've got one two fifths. I've got two. I'm going to have to steal one from over here. I've got three, four, five. Okay, so two gets me five, so I'm just going to follow that pattern. I'm going to get 10. I'm going to get 15. All right, so six divided by two-fifths equals 15. I get 15 two-fifths out of there. What happens if I use the reciprocal? So I'm going to change the division into a multiplication, and I'm going to flip it. 5 halves. Well, in order to do that, I need to go ahead and make that into a uh, fraction. So 6 times 5, so I can go straight across. 30 divided by 2, because what 30 divided by 2 equals 15. So dividing by a number and multiplying by its reciprocal gets you the exact same thing. So what did I do here? I did 6 times 5 halves. And we see that here our answer is going to be B.